Hello and welcome back and thank you for coming back if you're a subscriber and a regular viewer if you're new to the channel welcome um hope you see something that you like and that will make you stay and come back more and more and subscribe remember to leave a comment hit that like button hit that little bell to get notified every time i put a video on formalities out of the way there hi out. Where to start? Where to start? I know. I know where I'll start. Got a bit of a cold. Sorry about the voice <coughs> and the coffin. Okay, where to start is can you remember the Playmobil figures I got? I got 15 bucks sealed from 2011 uh, for £100 at a car. No, I was going to say a car boot sale there and a little charity drop off centre. Uh, so I, I was stoked. I worked it out, it was about £6.66. Lovely number, right? <laughs> maybe maybe that was an omen in itself. <laughs> maybe that should have worked it out before I bought it. Who knows? Um, I had 15, I listed them. I finished, I only listed a couple a day just to keep the, the algorithm going and stuff like that. I sold one the other day for £28.99, the full asking price, no message, no offers, no nothing went out for it, and, uh, boom, straight in, I was stoked, that's roughly somewhere between a third and a quarter of my money back in one sale, um, if the rest go that way, I'll, I should be bringing in about 400 and something pound i can't remember the precise number off my head i do apologize but for 100 to 400 whatever it is it's awesome yes i do have to take me 100 pound off that yes i do have to take the fees off that but boy that is some profit if and only if i can sell them all if I don't sell them all, if I sell enough to get me £100 back, I'll be happy. I'll be very happy. That way I haven't lost anything. But I've still got the youths to fall back on to get a little bit of profit. And I know whatever will be left would be pure profit. Um, a friend at work, <laughs> he's had three weeks off. He's had a couple of weeks abroad and he had a week before he went away to chillax. Just to waste up based up the use up the rest of his holidays for the year um he come back on monday <laughs> he said i've got two carrier bags full of pokemon cards if you want them for nothing <laughs> i saw pound signs in the back of my eyes ching ching and i goes yeah go on then I know nothing about Pokemon. I don't know what to look for. I don't know what is rare. I don't know what is valuable. I do not know what is shit. Most of it probably will be shit. Um, yeah. I'll show you what one of the bags looks like. Now this is actually two bags condensed into one. <sighs> My partner, while I was at work, kindly went through both lots of bags. She bundled some cards up just to make it a little bit easier. <sighs> she knows nothing about Pokemon either. There was a load of these. Now, I don't know if they've been used. I'll have to have a word of Pig Dog at work. Uh, God. Apparently these these are quite valuable in the, in themselves. Not valuable, valuable, but I could get a couple of quid for them. Apparently. Uh. So, anybody know anything about Pokemon? What is valuable? What is not? God, I haven't got a clue. There's even the plastic card holder thing there. Everybody knows Bob who watches this channel. 
Bob is my little cockapoo. Still a puppy. He's about six, maybe seven months old. And he was in the garden, but he's not here. He's not here now. Typical of him, when you need him, he's never around. Well, there were some figures in the bundle as well. Some very unusual but lovely little figures. Two of them ones. And I'm looking for the cards on the night time. And he runs off into one of the rooms. And I hear him go. And he does have a plastic ball which is chewed on. And it does sound like it's falling to bits and it's crumbling. So I naturally thought it was that that he was chewing on. And then I went, I don't know, that's still there on the floor in front of me. So I went in to investigate. I'm lost for words. He's a little shit. That's what it's meant to look like. So he's a, he, he is a proper little shit. <laughs> he is a, a lovable little shit. Then the next day, um, my partner's going through the cards. So I thought she'd put them out the way. She'd come back after popping out to the shop or something. And <laughs> a said load of cards were all over the floor. Some of them were ripped up. Some of them were just, well, you've just been flinging about. Oh, it's just. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? He's probably got. An expensive taste. He's probably chewed the only ones that are worth any money, and I wouldn't have a clue. Um, but what my partner did do, I oh, was sorry, I was going off track. <laughs> what my partner did do is, I think these are shinies. I think that's definitely a shiny. I'm not, I, like I say, I really don't know much about Pokemon cards. Um, so she so went through them all, she took all them out and I'll show you how many of them we got out of, their, out of the two bags. So if they are shinies, if they are worth anything, we do have uh, quite a collection of, of them there. Oh boy. <laughs> it's going to take a while for me to sort these out. So I got Skylanders last week, which I know nothing about. And I still know nothing about and <laughs> I've got Pokemon cards this week which I, <laughs> which I know nothing about. <clears throat> Can you see a common trend happening here? To be honest with you, <laughs> I know nothing about anything. <laughs> oh. But what I do know, I do know my cameras. Wait, a little bit of so, I've got a couple of cameras to test, to list, and to get on. And I'll show you what else I'm going to try to get on today, hopefully, or at some point during the week. So, we'll start with this box. We've got a Luminix F FZ38. I had to get... Um, a universal charger this is my second one the first one didn't work very good that one's wouldn't the old one the old one the, the original one wouldn't charge this for some reason and as soon as you plugged it in it said everything was fully charged even though there was no battery in it so that's to test um this is this one actually is worth a, a few quid it's a shock proof, water proof, dust proof, you name it proof, Olympus camera, Olympus is always a good name to look out for. Uh, 
It is a really good camera, this. The, the, obviously, the quality of the pictures, because it's an old one, isn't as good as it would be if it was a brand new one, if you know what I mean. So that's two cameras I'm going to test. I'm going to charge. Also got another Fuji film uh, to test to see if I can charge up. I've got a, a Panasonic DVD player in there with a hard drive. I've got, I don't know how I'm going to test this. I've already listed this actually, sorry, I don't need to test this. This is listed. Um, I'll put it, I can't remember if I said if it's, if it's untested or not. Uh, I really can't, I really should check that to see if it, see if it is untested. And I really have to do something with this. What is the best way, do you guys think? Uh, so I'll just get a bundle like that and charge, I don't know, X amount of money for it. Really don't know how much. Or should I go through them all? Uh, as you can see, got stage, I don't know if you can read that. Stage one there. Uh, basic. Should I go through all these and put them in a full set of basics? A full set of stage ones, etc., etc., etc. Well, obviously, it wouldn't be full if I'm leaving these out. Do I put these in or do I leave them out? Or do I shake it all about? I bought this really all ages ago for three quid, as you can see. When I'm in here packing and picking and testing, I have the radio on and I listen to it, it's quite nice, it's, um, I tap my feet away, I have a little bit of a singer song, it's got a cassette player, but I've got no cassettes to test on it. I went to the charity shop the other day and I thought, I don't know, I'll have a look for it, um, to see if they've got any cassette tips. Now we know, charity shops always have cassette tips, this one didn't, not one anywhere i'm like come on I, i'm not even bothered if it's a, a, a brass band or anything you know i just want to get a cassette tape to put in there to tape and to tape to press play and to see if the tape actually works on it if it does then i can go forward and get some decent um albums on cassette and i can Mm. either keep them or sell them but I can test them on the radio so if you know anywhere that's doing cassette tapes let me know and I'll see if I can pick one up I don't know what to do with these Pokemon cards people <coughs> It's not been well over the last week. I haven't been motivated as much to do stuff. Um, I'm feeling a lot better now. It's just a cough, just a sore throat. It's nothing. It's not your nose. And when you cough, the back of your head blows off. But hey, it's all good on the hood. So when I'm fully fully into it I will get round to sorting these that's a big bunch has got on there boys isn't it <laughs> I'll be getting round to sorting them out eventually and uh, I don't know what to do please leave a comment below Give the ginger flipper a hand if you can. Thank you to the guy who was um, commenting on my video the other day about me Skylanders. Much appreciated. Sorry, off the top of my head, I cannot remember your name. But thank you for your knowledge and your words. It means so much that um, 
my videos are getting out there and people are actually willing to give me advice which I need, I do need. I'm not a professional at this at, no, at any sort of rate. Um, I'm an amateur, I'm part-time even. I do this in my spare time. If I've got spare time, I do come down here and I do try to do stuff. I have so much to do. Not a lot of space to do it. I've got millions of stuff in this set, as you can see. Millions. But I've only got 400 and something items listed, or 500 items listed. Something like that, somewhere between four and five. I've got more games than I do listed. I'm addicted to buying, yes. I'm addicted to hoarding. No, I do want to get rid of this. <sighs> I need help. <laughs> well, once again, thank you for watching my channel. Please hit that like, hit that subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you want to give a brother a hand. I keep looking around. <laughs> I keep looking around. There's so much to do. So little time to do it. Oh. oh. I'll try that a different way. That's so much easier. <laughs> this is listed, tested, fully working. It's a little DVD player. Blu-ray player, sorry. This is listed and tested and working, both with remotes. This has got a hard drive, lovely jubbly. Flappy. Look at that, you can even put a memory card in there if you want to. I don't know if I've got that on camera. Who cares? Who cares? I did have a little trick around, if you remember. I don't know if you remember, I don't know if I've shown, but I did have another tub, just like this one. We two in there. I've swapped it around. That's now oh, down there on underneath or on top of that one. Because I had space there, I had wasted space. And I had loads of board games. So I, what I did, I tried to make space, try to get stuff packed neatly, more efficiently. I have got dead areas, like down there, but that is handy just to go down and grab what I need to grab and get back out. Because as you can see, I've got to go over like that and grab and oh. It can be a nightmare. I still haven't done that. We are nearly at the end of the month. Next week is the start of the new month. I've not even done that yet. I need to do that. I might do that this afternoon. Get that up to date. Um, put a little short on YouTube maybe and show you what I'm up to. Maybe stick it on Instagram. Uh, remember, if while I'm showing you stuff around the shed, and what I've got to do, if you want to reach out and you want to get some stuff, messages on Instagram. Same name, the Ginger Flipper, and I'll be happily to sort it out. If you want a bundle of uh, Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon cards, let me know. If you want some Skylanders, let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. If you want to shed full of stock, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. Remember, guys, treat people how you like to be treated. And uh, see you next time around. Bye for now.